Hello. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to apply the screw bait to the thread for this bolt and the nut. And the first thing you need to do is um, make this nut and this bolt concentric to each other. In this case, there isn't any circular part that I can click to make it concentric. So what I'll do is click on view, show height, temporary axis to turn on the center axis for both parts. And this is an assembly file, by the way. And this part, this is just regular parts that I downloaded from McMaster Car. So um, I have my temporary access visible. The next thing I'm going to do is make. And I'm going to select this sender access for the nut and also select the same thing for the bolt and click OK. So now these two parts are concentric. So I can. I can move it, drag it back and forth. So that's what we want. So now I can just turn off my temporary axis because I don't need it anymore. Now go number two. So the next thing I'm going to do now is add the screw mate to both parts. So what I like to do before I add the screw mate is by the right plane, I mean by whatever plane this is, I'm going to section it. And and once you have a section, I just go normal to so everything is normal to. So what I will do is drag this over here and I'll rebuild just to make sure I see what I'm doing. The reason why I always do it this way is because sometimes when you add the screw mate, even though it is screwing, you will get an interference like this and you don't want that because sometimes when you run your part evaluation, you it's going to give you an interference. So that's why I always move it somewhere over here. So just to align it, so everything, nothing is touching, interfering with each other. So once I have it aligned, I click on Make. Um, come down to Advanced Mechanical Screw. And I would select this inside face and select this second face. So I have both face selected. So once you select the inside and you can tell because it's over here, I have both face selected. And I, the option I always use is revolution per inch. So that's revolutions per inch, which is the same as what, the way the threads are called out. So if I go to my part, you can see this is a three quarter, which is the size of the bow and the 10 is the number of threads per inch. So there's 10 threads per every one inch. So that number is what I'm going to put here because this is also revolutions per inch. So we're going to put 10 in there and click OK and click OK. So now if I continue to screw this, the threads always stays in, in the part. So I just screw it leave it over there and let me go um, number two and I'm going to rebuild and as you can see it always stays in there good so that's what we want and the next thing you need to do is to fully complete everything is um, you want to add a limit tolerance over here so that way this not just doesn't bleed into this part so what you want to do is I always like to select this face first or I can move it back because this knot comes all the way out here so I just rotate it back somewhere over here so I leave it over there so I'll select this face first and select mate and advance limit and then I'll select this face and oh no let me do that again cancel so what i would do is make select uh not make let me there's one way i always do is select this face and i also select this face so i select both face first then i click make and then i want to come down to advance and select the yes that's what i always do so I just like to do it this way. The other way might work too. So I select both face, 
then I'll select because I want the number, the distance where this is to stay in there. So once I get all those values there and I'll just change this to zero because this always stays zero and and that is so this three points something is how far this tray can go back and you can always change this number so once I have all my values I click OK and click OK so now if I scroll my nut I just screw that real fast so you see what's going on so I'm just rotating it now and as you can see it's screwing no matter where I screw it to if I go normal to not to that face normal to I'm just gonna go normal to here and section it the thread is always in the thread of the nut is always in the bowl so and I'm just going to keep screwing and as you can see as this face touches that face it stops and that is exactly how you what you want so I can screw it back I can screw it back and anyway that is how I properly add the screw made to any thread it can be a thread of a boat or a nut or any part you're working with thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye